Hi friends! Thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and I've spent a lot of time over the last few years trying out and recreating some of my family's favorite dishes. Black pepper steak stir fry is probably one of my favorite dishes when we eat out. I tone down the spiciness when we make it at home though, so my kids won't miss out on how amazing this dish is. Usually this dish calls for a flank steak, but that cut of meat can get expensive sometimes, so I like to use a cheaper cut of meat, like strip loin or sirloin. Today I'll be using strip loin because that's what looked nice today in the store. We'll be velveting the meat so a more tough piece of meat can still end up very tender. Consider putting your meat in the freezer for a couple of hours before cutting it to partially freeze it. This will firm up the meat and make it easier to slice. If the meat was pre-frozen, begin cutting the meat before it has had the chance to completely thaw. All right, so let's get started. Start by thinly slicing one pound of strip loin steak. Mince three cloves of garlic. Roughly chop one onion. And roughly chop three bell peppers. We're using one red, one orange, and one yellow bell pepper today. Traditional recipes often use green bell peppers, but I'm preparing this for my kids and they don't really like the bitterness of green peppers. Next, take one piece of ginger roughly the size of your thumb and thinly slice it. With the sliced ginger, marinate the beef slices in one tablespoon of cornstarch, one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce, one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of water. We'll set this aside for at least half an hour. Now we'll make the sauce by combining one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, one quarter teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of salt. As I mentioned before, I toned down the spiciness of this dish for my kids, so if your household can handle the spiciness, increase the amount of ground pepper to one to three teaspoons of freshly ground pepper. While you're waiting for your steak to marinate, make two cups of rice whichever way you're used to. I'll be making my rice today by stovetop in a stainless steel pot. When the steak is done marinating, heat a wok over high heat. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. When the oil starts to smoke, brown the steak on both sides and cook the steak until your desired doneness. Once the steak is the way you like it, remove it from the wok onto a separate bowl and set it aside. Add another tablespoon of oil to the wok and then Add in the onions and garlic and let them cook for a few seconds before adding in the bell peppers. Cook both together for about a minute. Then return the beef to the wok. Add in the stock and deglaze the bottom of the wok. Pour in the sauce and give it a quick toss. Stir until the sauce is thickened. Then turn the heat off and serve over your rice when it's done cooking. Okay, so I love the way this dish turns out. The beef is juicy and tender, which is a nice contrast to the crisp onions and bell peppers. And it pairs just perfectly with rice. Just a quick tip, remove the ginger before you're serving it. The nice thing about the ginger is that it's in nice big slices, so you can easily identify them and just take them out before you serve the dish. So nobody accidentally eats it. I guarantee you that your kids will not enjoy the spiciness of the ginger. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me today. If you liked my video and you're looking for more quick and easy Chinese dinner ideas, please click the like button and subscribe. 
Until next time, friends. Mwah.